G'day, it's Pete here, and I'm back for Hand of the Week. Now, this hand actually comes from the Kibitza Pro session, which I was doing, which I was playing with Adam Kaplan, uh, an American junior who was staying with me. And this one's actually from his perspective, because he was the one playing the hand, but it was a really interesting hand from all perspectives. I loved the bidding challenge about it. I loved the declare play problem, because like while I was looking at it, I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. That's like a tricky problem. And then the defense had counterplay, and then so it was a bit of back and forth, and like, oh god, what are we going to do now? And stuff like that. So I just love this hand for all the aspects of it, so hope you enjoy it. We'll see. We'll see where this goes, but this you know, partner shows either support or um, you know, a good hand. This could easily be a slack hand, and you know, having Jack throw to diamonds actually could be quite useful. Um, you know, in, at least in terms of um, what you know, it, having it in partner's suit at least is nice. Um, you know, I'd rather that than having Jack throw it elsewhere. Okay, so two no trump. Uh, which looks like it's hearts and clubs, um, neither of which I'm very excited about. However, um, I, you know, I, this is definitely an unusual over unusual situation. Um, and there's, it, even if it's undiscussed, there's a danger to bidding three spades because it actually, you know, if you haven't discussed it, it could be seen as not enforcing. So we'll say we'll bid three hearts, which shows spades game enforcing. Um, and then, um, yeah, so you know, this is a, sort of a classic un unusual over unusual situation where three clubs would be good for diamonds. Three diamonds would just be sort of constructive. And uh, three hearts is good for spades, and three spades is sort of constructive. Um, and yeah, certainly, I can bid th three hearts to show you know, good hand with spades. Um, now, with all this bidding, I probably you know, I, I'll certainly come back in with four spades. And the only question is, if they bid more, how much do I trust my red white opponents? Um, I tend not. I tend to believe them more often than not, simply because they can see the colors as well. And so yeah, they're, they're probably not going to be completely off the wall crazy. And so if, they, if they're bidding, you know, they probably have a sound, you know, Trump, a sound four hearts, you know, they, they can see what's going on as well. Um, and that, of course, won't stop me from bidding four spades, because I have a, just an absolute massive amount of spades and a good hand, but the question is, what do I do when they bid five something? Um, and you know, it feels like I probably am not worth five. See? My red-white opponents are bidding on the five level so much. Oh, okay. This is not what I was expecting. <laughs> All right. Well, my king-queen of hearts is not well-placed. I will say that. Um, I, given this auction, I am unhappy. But we'll see what happens. It seems like I, I very much wish at least one of my heart honors was somewhere that was not hearts. But I do have a seventh spade. We'll see what happens. Oh, that's a nice half. Look at that. Hmm. That'll do. Maybe. What an interesting play problem. So the lowest, this is the lowest outstanding club, which means that clubs are 6-1, probably. And hearts are probably, you know, hearts are not split. Um, and what an interesting play prop. I, I have to get rid of my heart somehow, but I can't rough clubs to my hand because then he'll just over rough. And if he doesn't over rough, then he's getting trump promotions. And then I could lose two trump tricks. That's really not good. So certainly I have to win the ace of clubs. 
but I, ha I have to I have to rough I either have to rough two hearts or I can try to give up a spade trick before while still keeping that extra trump and die. So instead of playing a spade to the ace and king or something like that, it is if I do that and the queen of spades doesn't come down, which I expect it won't, then I have no good answer to this. Um, I, I, I'm just done. Um, and whereas if, if I actually play a spade to the jack now and spades are 3-1, I can give up that, that spade and while still having trump control. Uh, my problem is, is that if spades are 4-0 with 4 on my left, then he can actually duck the jack of spades and still give me a lot of problems. Um, and I'm not sure... If, the, the issue is, is that if lefty has 4 trumps, then I'm not sure I could do anything about this anyway. I mean, I could rough a club to, the, to my hand with the 9, I guess, and force him to pitch, and then rough a heart, and then rough and then play a diamond down, but that's dangerous. Um, I think it's better to tr just try to play a spade and hope that righty has a spade. If righty does not, then we'll have to reevaluate. Oh, righty does not. So we'll, give a, we'll see if East is willing to win the Queen of Spades to start. If he doesn't, then we still have, we still have chances. Um, you know, we need, we, we need... Okay, so he did not. That's to be expected. So at this point, uh, we need a little bit of help. <laughs> um, you know, we, we're going to be able to. We, you know, we're not. We're not going to be able to force out that Trump loser in time, which means that we need him to have. We either need the Ace of Hearts on side, so we'll try that now. See if we can get him to cover at least. Okay. Well, that'll do. So now that at least solves our problem of the heart loser. If I didn't have the queen of hearts, though, I would have needed to rough this heart and then try to play four rounds of diamonds. So I would have needed righty to be 6-6. Six, six. Um, thankfully today he had this, so now we can just do this, up to hand, and give up a spin trick for making 6. Um, However, it's, a, it's an interesting problem because I can't afford to give up a trump trick while I still have hearts in my hand. Um, so if, the, if he hadn't, even if he hadn't covered, I think I probably would have roughed and then just played a diamond to the jack and cashed the ace, king of spades and played diamonds and hoped for diamonds to be 3-1 with lefty having three diamonds. And you know, while that's not perfect, the, the righty did the you know, Trump, they could, they could be 6-6. Six, six. I mean, there's stranger things that have happened. Um, but it was not a great place to be in at that point, I will say that. All right. Well, at least we made it.